Okay, Monday morning in the kingdom, and I'm hurting. Oh, it's unreal. The kids last night were burning houses in Whoville again. You know, they burnt one Friday night, and then they decided at 2.45 this morning, okay, to burn another one. And then these kids will grow up and complain about housing shortages and stuff like that, you know. So what are they thinking? You go around, destroy everything, and then there's nothing left. But oh no, the gold mine's going to open up and there's going to be a housing boom and everything like that. Not. They're going to fly everybody in and fly everybody out. There might be two new residents of Whoville. That's it. Welcome to the new world. Nobody wants to live in the north when you can live in the south and have a resale value on your home. Yes, this is unreal. Okay, so I'm going to try and make it through today. The staff's already asked for the morning off because she was up late last night too because of the fire. She took some pictures, which I put on, uh, uh, oh, I'll maybe add it to the end screen here if I remember. I'll make a note, eh? Okay, but I put it on the Facebook storyboard, eh? So that's two fires back to back, but that's normal. They burn everything. They destroy everything. Welcome to the new world. Okay. All right. This morning at seven o'clock, it was zero. It feels like zero Celsius, okay? And look at the best part. Zero is actually 32 Fahrenheit. Oh, yeah. Finally, this consistency in the numbers. Oh, that's a big word, consistency. Okay, and it feels like 32 Fahrenheit. Wow, that's unreal. All the same numbers or the same temperature or whatever. That's just unreal. Also, too, Amazon has my 11th book which is the first book in my winter road series okay because there's 10 books in the winter road series all right it's called my struggles i wrote it when we were locked down with the COVID lockdowns back in april 2021 yes so it's name i got the name my struggles being locked down it also comes from the number one best-selling book in germany during the mid mid uh, in the mid uh, in the 1930s oh that fellow was locked down and wrote the book. And the English translation is My Struggles. So if you've got to learn about things, Google it to figure it out and you'll learn. I can't say it because I'll be censored because it's a bad word, a bad book. But oh well, the guy had some ideas and it kind of didn't go well. But it was his struggles. He was writing while in jail. Okay, so the book is free as an ebook from May 8th to the 12th. That's five days. But on Sesame Street, that's four days, okay? All right. Also, too, look at this here. Look at that. All right? So those guys had a marketing campaign flop. Like, why would you have somebody who's, I, in my eyes, is mentally handicapped or mental issue problem? Like, he's kind of, like, tripping out. Like, there's lots of people that do the drag queens and stuff like that and, you know, act professionally and good actors do it. Even John Wayne dressed up in a dress and stuff. But that marketing campaign of this company, they need to have their head examined. Like, they need to go see Fraser Crane. Man, there's something wrong there. So now they've dropped the price of this product, you know, 50% off. Yeah. So the staff went and picked up. $204 worth of beer, yeah, remember this is Canadian, for $102 on Saturday, yeah. So once you put a label on or, or cover the label and put it into a glass, it's all the same stuff. It tastes the same, looks the same, has the same foamy fizzies and stuff, and you throw it up the same, you know. It's just the labeling. All right, it's no different than the gas. You pull into a gas station, it's SO Shell, Petrocat, it's all the same, comes from the same refinery. Yeah, so we locked out. So we're going to be drinking this no-name beer for the next month because it's on sale. Yeah, pretty good thinking. But then once it's all done, they'll find something else to make drama and, and uh, oh, conflict or something. So we just smile. We try not to get involved with this crap, but we see it in, in the news in the world and the people around the world. It's just unreal. So as you can see, Let's do a scroll this way. All right, look at that clear skies, eh? Look at that. The ground's kind of nice and level. Look at that. Look at the clear skies. Look at that sun. Look at how high he is. Can you guys see that? Ooh, I'm getting a neat glare on the camera there. Wow. 
Well, there's no UFOs, we know that for sure. The Northern Lights are out last night, but the staff was too busy watching the house buff burn down. She forgot to record the Northern Lights again. Oh, well. All right, so we're going to be doing stuff today. We're not sure what we're doing. The dragging and backfilling yesterday wasn't planned because everything should still be frozen. But it's kind of thawed out. Oh, now it's too bright. Oh, no, this isn't good. All right, it's Monday. We're starting off to a shitty day. Oh, well, we better go do something. The boss is coming. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom and plans have changed. The staff came by and debriefed me this morning on the four fires in Whoville. The kids are starting it. They're just going down the street, just letting stuff on fire. But that's a fact of life in the new world we live in. There's no punishment for the crime. So now we have to get these black tanks dragged back into place and hooked up because that's our wire or water protection or fire protection in the kingdom. So we usually don't fill these things till May long weekend because we're still frozen and snowing here. This is strange this year. Okay, we're going to put the, those water tanks, those black water tanks, they were right here. Okay, we're going to move them closer to the house here so they're not in the way and I'm obstructing snow removal and stuff like that. Plus this morning we ripped out the water or the sewer line going down to the sewer holding tank down there. Okay, fire protection is more important than a sewer line. I guess I'll have to use the outhouse for the one poo I do a day compared to the dogs. Plus the dogs poo pile, it's just like cattle. We drag it out, you know, and clean the pens in the winter to keep them uh, clean for the dogs. And now the poo piles are thawing out because they're still covered in snow and ice. So this weekend we can clean the dog pens really good and they're all happy. These dogs are like cattle and poo is a fact of life. And plus too, if we didn't have dogs, okay, we wouldn't have any glass or valuables in the kingdom. Okay, it's a fact of life. All right, so the little TD6 is back there known as Communist Cat right there. Okay, so he'll be out here pushing this overburden back and to make a fire break because this is unreal. All it's going to take is those kids to set the forest on fire in a good wind and you can kiss this place goodbye. One of the joys of constantly cleaning the kingdom is we're finding the good stuff. Yes, all the scrap garbage debris that they've left out in the wilderness or pushed into the bush to make uh, fire hazards or hard to fight the fire. This is a lumbar cross pole sleigh hitch. The wood would be bolted in here. All right, I'll go show you guys the real ones. Okay, the lumbar cross hitch uh, hookup mechanism or whatever. So the wood has now been replaced with pipe because wood is, this quality is rare up here. We use pipe for everything because I'm a welder and I recycle. So this worked out good finding one of those hitches because we need them for the other sleighs that we're building. So today is a good day, let alone it is Monday. Okay, going good. I don't know where the staff is. She's supposed to be here filming me. Seeing the little cat work so hard. But we got a fair amount of this debris pushed up and the ground's nice and smooth, which I like. Just look at that. And the boulders are the size of the cat. Oh well, but the cat can do it. Hopefully the staff shows up to film me.
Okay, the staff finally showed up on the end of the project, so I had to wait to leave the cat running until she showed up to photo film us there. So it's kind of lame ass, but we got the tanks in beside the house back where they were 20 years ago before that woman moved in. Okay, these tanks will give me 4,000 gallons each. That's Canadian gallons, so we hooked them together. If you're pumping out to fight a fire or anything like that, you have to have them combined. That way it's equal water use. And this has turned out pretty good. The snow is finally melting. We still have frozen ground here. Yes, frozen ground because we've had no rain. Rain melts the snow. Okay, so that's what we need is rain. Oh, well. Okay, the staff got a little video here, but missed all the big rocks that I was pushing up with the little cat here. Just totally amazing. Plus the cat has no guards because it's made for plowing snow. Now I have to figure out how to move this crap over here. I don't know who put that stuff there. Okay, it took me an hour to unload the trailer, but I just used the skill saw and put everything over here. I just cut the split ends off and cut the firewood off. Now the staff, when she is back to work, after she puts her fire guards around her house, she can pull all the nails. So this is what we got here, is all the icky ends. All right, let's go. Okay, for a water truck in the kingdom, this is the 46 Chevy. For 20 years, it had a water tank on the back, on the back here, and the tow bar on the front. Okay, so then we took the tow bar off, put a small block Chevy in, and drove around last summer hauling water to the kingdom. But somebody took the motor out and put it in the Lynn tractor, so that's a minor detail. Okay, this is a thousand gallon water tank that was on the 46 Chevy for 20 years, and we took it off because now it fits in the shop without the water tank on so we can work on the truck. So then somebody's piled all this wood debris in here that has to be torn apart for firewood. So now I gotta fart around and dig away or whatever or bring the mini over and turn the tank and pick it up from the other way. I have to work smarter, not harder. Okay, 5.30 in the kingdom and we're gonna go haul some water. Throw the plow truck is four by four, so in case we get stuck, he can pull it right through. All right, we put the tank on the trailer, the pump runs, let's go haul some water.
Okay, the staff showed up in time to film me doing the first trip and learning how to back up Thor with the v, uh, with the angle blade on the front. It's hard to chase. Plus, you can't see anything. So now I have to back all the way up. This is the back gate of the kingdom. All the way up, way back there. And the ground is soft. I'll do a video on how soft it is. Okay, here is where we get the water. The staff filmed this the first time. Okay, but the trick is to back down here. It's muskeg, yes. Just on the other side of those trees over there is the muskeg that we cross with the cat trains. So this was a mine road they built to get across. As you can see, it sinks and sinks even more. So I'll just walk along here. It'll be jiggly wiggly. Okay, but it's low, it's soft, but that's muskeg. And then this is where we get the water from. Okay. But also too, I don't know if we can see it here, but look at how much the loaded trailer sunk and it's ruts all the way back up because of this muskeg, okay? So I have to back up or drive in four different places to be able to not get stuck. So that's the joys of hauling the water. Okay, we'll get the pump out and this is where we're getting the water from. This is muskeg, it's wet, it's ooey, and it's gooey. So it's, we're letting it flow from over there into our little sump right here that we pump out of. And we can't pump too much out because it has to fill up. So we have to have the right amount of pumpage out for the water that's streaming in. Okay, we're on the third load here and we ran out of water. It's a quarter way, or three quarters full, we ran out of water. Yes. So we have to idle the gas power pump down because the muskeg isn't letting the water through. Muskeg is like a sponge. So here we have all this water here with probably two foot difference in elevation, but it's got to filter through the muskeg. So you can see it flowing back there. That's the joy. So we know that we don't have a lot of water this year because all other times we can get four loads out of this, no problem. And it's 45 minutes round trip. So that tells you how dry it is. So that's not good. All right, let's go and dump this off. And as you can see, it's soft. All we got is ruts here. All right, let's go dump it off. Okay, there goes the staff. Eight o'clock at night, we're done for the day. But look at that flag exercise. He's done for the day too. Oh, he's got some energy left in him. All right, let's go drink some beer. Let's walk the dogs and drink some beer. Throw the plow truck. We got three loads of water in. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go do, oh, I'm all confused. This, this yard's looking good. Oh, I'm starting to stutter here. I need my vodka. All right, okay, there we go. End the video. All right, there's the flag exercise. Let's go walk the dogs and drink some beer. All right, talk to you later.